Right. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, obviously, I've just started, or about to start, um, the new game, Vampire, by the same guys that made... I think the same guys that made Life is Strange. Um, I was going to get this on the release date. Now, originally what I did was, on the release date, I... So I had five pounds off um, using Argos, but the, when I when you pre-order something from Argos, it um, you can't pre-order pick up, so you have to wait till the day of. And on the day of um, release of Vampire, uh, they were like, "Oh, we won't have stock until Saturday." So I was like, "Oh, well, I'll still order it and I'll pick it up on Saturday." And then I got an email on. It's well past midnight now. Um, I got an email on Thursday to say it's ready to pick up today. So obviously I picked up on Thursday and I didn't get a chance to start playing until, well, now, a bit after midnight. Because um, I wanted to, what I wanted to do was finish off my Uncharted uh, Drake's Fortune playthrough. But I was sort of busy for a few days and then today I didn't think I was going to get a chance to play but then I ended up getting a chance to play so I've played it and finished it so that's all done for now um, I might go back for the next two games but any point anyway point is obviously we're going to start with Vampire so um, obviously I just want to check one other thing before we actually start because I just realized I haven't checked to make sure this is actually streaming um, because I'm uh, just using my phone to check the stream. It seems to be working. Yep, there we go. I can see it now. So let us play us. Let let us play some vampire. So yep. I love this. I loved the porn link that was just on a second ago. Was please don't try any of the medical <laughs> medical in this game. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't planning to. Uh, so where are we? Uh, so in Vampire Every Action, take <coughs> you take have has have consequences. This game uses an auto save system. Whenever this symbol is displayed on the screen, an auto save is in process. Yep, blah blah blah. <coughs> Vampire. Oh, <laughs> I was just about to check my Twitch again, and it just closed itself on my phone. So I'm just gonna open it up again. Press options. Of course they're all empty slots. I haven't started yet. Oh, that's weird. What are the options? Yeah, okay. Uh, actually, hang on, before I do anything. Make sure subtitles are on. Yes, that would help. Go back and actually now start the game. Oh, I like that. The more lives you take, the easier this will be. <laughs> well, since I try to be pacifist when it, when, it, when it comes to games like this, this is going to be incredibly hard. <laughs> I've sort of been looking forward to playing this. As obviously, I like. Um... Oh, whoops. The audio just started on twelve there we go. dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. 
What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What okay. is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Wow, that's um kind of bleak. Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Okay. <coughs> Weaken from the harshness and be born once more. So I'm guessing this game's not going to be happy sunshines and all that. <laughs> Hopefully this microphone's been on, on for the last few minutes, I'm not 100% sure, because I think I might accidentally turned it off and then turn it back on again, but now I'm not sure if I accidentally turned it off, or just accidentally turned it back on. Hmm. I guess when I check back later at some point, I'll know the answer. So yeah, what I was going to say was, I've sort of been looking forward to this, because I liked, um, I love, um, the Life of Strange games. I did sort of me meant to play um, Remember Me, but I never actually got around to playing it. Which I don't know if I never got around to buying it either. I should start with. But I um I did hear okay things about that too. But like I said, I, I love love the Life of Strange games. This was unavoidable. If it wasn't, you know, then, you know, whoops. My sweet brother. What have you done? Mary! Oh, no. Mary! Hold on. Please, hold on. Let 
Let me explain. These patrols are after me. Over there. This one. No, no, don't shoot. This is a okay. nightmare. Not the weirdest opening to a game, to but it's certainly up there on the list, I'm sure. This can't be happening. There's one of those vermin. No, please, stop! I mean you no harm. Keep wanting to jump, but that's not been possible so far. Falling on the other hand is what have I done? What's all this about? Shit, where'd it go? Oh, right. What am I supposed to do? No. Oh. Right, use the square. Where'd it go? Kill that thing! Who are you? Stay back! Can I just run past? I can't just run past apparently. But I'm still gonna get shot for it. Who are you? Stupid beast! Dodge. That would have been nice a few seconds ago. Let's try for a passive. No, please stop. Of course, I'm gonna die for him. I guess I actually have to actually fight these guys. I'm just an innocent guy with a, you know, machete, dagger, whatever. Seems to be anywhere else I can go. Who are you? Fuck, it's false. Yeah, okay. What do you want? Yeah, okay, now I can. I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech! <laughs> Please, listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake! I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me. Ah! 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 ah. The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go! Guys, I will, but I need to yeah, find okay. shelter. I didn't have much of a choice there. Okay, that's fine. Is I, know this, there? I know this game is like, oh, the, it's easier if you kill more people. Let's try and not kill people, but in that case, I had no choice. This is technically the tutorial. I should be safe enough here.
Mary! Had a little laugh. Mary, I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. We got all that from a random picture? Okay. find out more information about obviously um, I ended up buying the so originally it was DLC that you could have got for Fire Fire and actually pre-ordered it, but obviously I didn't pre-order it at the time, so I bought it separately. Um, but it's the it's the medical one, basically a, a doctor's jacket or something like that. Oh, what's this? What we got. Jeez. Oh, it's a watch. Wait. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pick in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him a knee. So that was your watch? It's impossible. Ooh, what over here? Something shiny. Bottle of alcohol. Okay, well, that's... I'm sure there'll be some use for it. I hope there's some use to it. For me personally, I don't, I don't partake, so it's not very useful for me. <laughs> oh my god, I have no reflection. much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. If you're... Hmm, I don't think you have a reflection. You shouldn't have a reflection as a vampire, but I'm not sure if that was just something that... Yeah, I'm gonna assume that's just because you don't... Is that a reflection? You shouldn't have one! Whatever. I'll let it go. Opium? Heroin? I don't know. I'm guessing it's one of them. Yoink! lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! 
The orders are to evacuate the hospital. <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. One bullet. No, it never got easy. I now have a revolver. With one bullet. Singing, why isn't it working? Because it's not. Yeah, okay. See what else? Anything else in this room? Oops, something here. Blood diary. 15th of October. Bad sleep. Becky coughed all night. Oh, I'm guessing this is about the Spanish flu. Painting like a dog. I was reading that as painting like a dog. I was thinking, what? Panting like a dog. Okay. I'm guessing I'll use that bed in a second. I just want to see if there's anything else. Doesn't look like it. Have you not worked out? No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. Out of the coincidence, the first person you find is your sister. So be it. Like hell, though. Rational thinking only. Why was I don't push triangle? Okay, I put I push triangle, so vampire. Oh, trophy. From here, from here to eternity. I'm not sure what the trophy's for. I'm guessing just starting the game, really. Vampire. <laughs> yep. The hell out like hell, right? This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blood in sunlight. Into a glowing flesh. Okay, so what have we got? Everything that seems to be touchable or is that. Oh, okay, you have to hold it down. What's that on? Oh, oh, level six. Okay. Right. Okay. What we got? Ugh. 
That sounds pretty cool, actually. Let's go for stamina. Oh, don't have enough for. Oh, I haven't, I haven't got enough for any of these. Okay. Was that the more expensive one then? It looks like it probably was actually. Because that one was a thousand. No, no, they were, they, were, they were all a thousand. Okay, um, confirm. That voice in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me. What I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Is it not obvious by now? to leave now. Still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Over there! Go back home. There's one in there. Burn it.
my poor sister. Oh, that's the one I was already If only I had control of my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. Locked, I'm guessing. I cannot enter. Oh yeah, I suppose you haven't been invited. I can't believe I'm doing this. For rats. It's locked, all right. I have this thirst for blood. I'll just drink rat rats. It'll be fine. Probably not, but yeah. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> the dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. I cannot enter. But yes, I cannot it's enter. It's locked, all right. Situation? Mm -hmm. It's locked. I've so many questions unanswered. Another corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? Looks like it. Been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Fresh blood. The smell is something dire must have come about. Where has everyone gone? So this is our detective mode, shall we say? I know they're obviously calling it vampire mode, but it's pretty much the same as detective mode. Yes. Is every other? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. So why is there blood up here? But you're not going to examine it, so. Maybe it's not important? I don't know. Oh, okay, cool. things for it because oh, yeah sure R2 okay 
So I don't have any of the... I don't have the uh, parts for it anyway. Okay. Again, don't really need to sleep just yet. Let's look for the killer's tra trail. <laughs> At last, a little life. Welcome, sir, to the Turquoise Turtle. My God, oh, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... Not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few... Oh. Yeah, I can... Back. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well-dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh... Yes? No funny business, you hear me? Of course. This is a respectable establishment. It's a good thing you again. Seen. What can I do for you? Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the Turquoise Turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. Cool. Good so. Thank you. Goodbye. Mmm, tasty humans. roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require the... I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <coughs> Who are you? I mean you no harm, saith the vampire. Present yourself! I... I need a word. With... 
Something I can do for you. Not going to. Can I eat you? <laughs> and who might you be? Tell me. Who are you? First, tell me what you want, then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here, too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We're both chasing the same shadow. Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? Justice! I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. <laughs> Can I at least look in your drawers? If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. <coughs> you dare. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Sewer dog? Who is this sewer dog? It's the local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone, blamed a sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Okay. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Are they stupid or something? I've never even been to India. 
You look like, um, from that profile, you look like, I want to say, Jaren from the Lawrence. Evening, sir. Can I help Not you? That I have a few today. questions for you. Well, if you must. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I'll best check on them. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. What is this place? This is Tom's Bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina. If you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin, his hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until, Until tonight. tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Cool. find what you were after I can't say I have are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived hey I told you you were the only other stranger I've had Tom talk to me about the visit from your old friend William yes will came by tonight but he's not my friend anymore who is he William just an old sailor who loves his gin too much 
He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. <sighs> What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? May I do? Right, that just takes me out here. <laughs> Thinking, oh, I can go out the back. Nope. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me, to this city? You said boat, so I'm guessing it's around here somewhere. Oh, hello. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. He's got a note. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. And now we look at What's the note. What's this? Some sort of note. It's a shopping list. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Is there a way to check the note? Let's just pause. Back. Uh, nope, that's zooming in. Not that. This is the note I was just looking at. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. Oh, that's nothing. I saw that little white dot just down there. But there doesn't seem to be anything, so move on. I think I have to do that teleport thing again. Can't seem to do that.
that would knock him out, but apparently not. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. So, how do I... Switch back to that for a moment. I'm starting to get the hang of it now. Okay, that's fine. Right, yep, yeah, off. What I was trying to do was get up there. I cannot enter. Please, sir. Can't let you through. All right. What's the plan to fight you? I am having a plan to take this money. It's annoying that you can't just teleport through that gap there. That would just let me sneak through. Two bullets after the guy was dead.
Let's see what get, that gets me. Okay, so what? 785 XP. Let's get... for that, don't I? Um, I want 600. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. I want to confirm. So I'm sort of used to some games where you just push back and that's how you... you confirm. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Ah, now I've actually seen this guy in a tra in a trailer for this, so I sort of know who he is. First death in this game, about an hour in. Second. I 
I too was thirsty, but not for blood. Right, I was about to equip the scythe, but I haven't actually got it yet. Because obviously I just got it a second ago. Which... Should just be here somewhere. Oh, unless I get unless I get to keep it. Uh, no nope, wrong button. Back. Oh, come on. It's uh, a lot more damage. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Oh, this is... Okay, maybe not the best weapon. Because it's so slow. Shit ton of damage. Oh. oh! Come on, come on! Ew. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Okay, I'm switching back to what I had because that weapon is slow! Oh, actually, what am I doing? I have the um, stake still, don't I? supposed to do a bit more damage or parry damage e uh, stun damage even to vampires when I was looking at him there go you have been defeated drink the civilians I don't want to drink civilians so far I, I, I've been having fun with this um, for the last hour I've been playing with it Part. I keep thinking pushing options would be the would be the um, you know check stuff but it's not so main weapon um, might as well have that as the stake for now oh actually you know what? Uh, I can I can obviously set the gun as a, as a secondary secondary uh, equipment. Oh, go back, back. S gun. I don't think I've got any other. So it took me back here this time. My only friend. I know you're hurt. Alas, give me permission to leave. I'll not betray your trust. Is this first? You see, yep. I need a drink. I'm so thirsty. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Oh shit, he doesn't 
to. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by Scal? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. You sound thirsty. <laughs> that doctor might <laughs> perch your fur <laughs> quench your thirst. to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. 
Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? I'm guessing I'm saying yes. It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. As long as I don't eat you. <laughs> that is an odd place to cut the music. Yes, I was right. That was weird. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Phrasing. <laughs> I wonder what happened if I'd actually... Just did that. Just be a very short game. We'll have a word in my office later, Jonathan. 
But, I mean, you're kind of in the middle of the stairs, so... I mean, can I go in this way? Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. You have to take it. Oh, hang on. So, is this one of those things that I have to do straight away? Like this, I will not take another life. Whoa, I feel giddy. Okay, good to know. Can I talk to you? What? What happened? Did I black out? Whoa, I feel okay. You're just gonna... giddy. You're just going to repeat yourself, okay. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. I'll find a nice, probably plague rat to chew on. I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. 
I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Okay. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. That was quick. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The Administrator has better things to do than mix with us. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, Nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Something shiny over here. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. And full of blood. <laughs> I think some of these are actually based on real posters. I mean, I've seen obviously the um, the there was the your country needs you poster before. I'm guessing some of the others are also <laughs> based on real real posters. First on the left, I think they said. away from prying eyes relegated to the shadows a kingdom of my own at least I won't be sleeping in a coffin more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation but this is not what happened to me I must keep on searching the Sun is about to rise I can feel it I'll continue tomorrow night I have so much time now now one thing I haven't worked out is so I said I, I bought the DLC. To, oh, hang on. This looks like a locker. So maybe this is it. No. Oh, actually, yes, there is. Because I think that was part of the DLC. Yes, it is. That's part of the DLC. I just unlocked, well, not unlocked, sorry, but I unlocked it with a card, <laughs> with a credit card, well, not credit card, debit card even, but the DLC, uh, 
the minor DLC because it's only, well, items and cosmetic things. Here we go, that's the new outfit. So let's go to Is this a one hand? I assume it's a one handed. anything else in this pack other than the um lovely So let's get this one. Let's get that one. Ah, oh, that would have been nice. What's that now? 500, so I would have had to... Was... Uh, you know what? Let's, hang, hang on. Let's cancel that. Cancel that. Let's see, what was that again? Oh! You know what? It doesn't matter because it's locked until I... Because... Uh, yeah. I'm on level 4, so I have to wait till level 5. Never mind then, because uh, I, I have only enough... I would have had enough if I could buy it now, but since I can't buy it until I'm next level, let's... Um, See, I only got 300 now. Obviously, I could just wait until the next. Um... Wait, which one did I just do? Yeah, okay. I want the hard bite. Ah, okay, so that's how you level up. You spend points, which. Okay, okay. Which increases that bar. So confirm. The following night. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood?
Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. So then, to the morgue. So, I'm guessing it's following the Y. Is it this way? Scour voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Oh, nice. My blood you took from me. I'm taking yours. I'm taking yours now in compensation. Sounds like there's something screaming. Locked. It's locked, all right.
similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. An uninteractable door. I'm guessing that one I cannot thing. enter. Yep. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. All that for alcohol. Okay. Something else here, obviously. Ah. as they are ineffective but they do contain iron tartrate and that might prove itself useful I have no idea if any of this is accurate I do like that when I started the game any medical any medical what's called in this game do not try it home yeah I don't think I was ever planning to write any of this hello someone teleported Was just here. Did they even think to use this? But you know, just in case. Oh, it's kind of hoping things like that would shine in. Well, not not detective mode. If there's anything else on this floor. Okay, that just takes me outside, does it? So I've got to go back in to get what I'm looking for. Ooh, Slow train to load me back in to the morgue. Just reading the back of the uh, the case. And it's like you've become the savior or the stalker. A web of in interconnected civ civilians reacts to your decisions, fun fight and manipulate with supernatural abilities. All right, now the supernatural ability I need. It's the load back into a back into the room. You know, I'm never sure how to announce the name of this company. Don't nod. Don't, don't nod. I'm not even sure that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Don't nod. Entertainment is what it says here. I think they made the the. Life is strange games. I'll check that in a minute. It's, I have those just up on my, on my bookshelf over there. I know Square Enix were the people that released it, um, published it. Okay, someone just teleported it again. It's locked, all right. Oh. Right, go back down 
downstairs. These skulls feed from corpses in the hostile hands. They're not after blood. They're after flesh. Close automatically, do they? That's helpful and not at all confusing to me. Oh god, if this guy gets up in a second, I'm gonna shit myself. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. It's locked. I think there'd be a key somewhere. Okay. Oh god, am I gonna invest? Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god, I already know what. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Okay. Open chest, not open chest, as in. The I'm chest not... was originally yeah. open to perform the operation. I was. The sutures are clean. I was worried I was gonna open clean. the chest. Ugh, I was like, ugh. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So... Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Okay. Is there a key in here? I mean, if there's not, there's not. Last file. Hmm. Okay.
ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. I've got that locked chest, but I can't do anything about without a uh, I actually fuck this up. Because I no longer have the. Oh shit, did I just actually fuck this up by selecting the wrong thing? Fuck. Because that's the treatment for fatigue, and I accidentally used up the. to loot the. So, oh. Crap. Any chance? Ah, uh, let's go check. Hmm. Ah, oh, crap. Actually, that's saying to go up, so there must be more of those ingredients. I hope that's the case, because otherwise, crap. Treatment for tea. Oh, hang on. There is an up. There is an up. I think. Oh my god, am I at the top? Not yet. So I should just be able to do no such thing. Because I am at the top, but there's no. Oh, damn it. Hopefully, I haven't fucked this up. up. 
craft the wrong thing. I didn't notice until I was like, oh, that's something new. That must be the thing I need to craft. Nope. Our doctor is somewhere closer, so maybe I'll go see him quickly. Good no. evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Jadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Jadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have a respect, for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. Fair enough. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few uh, nights ago. Don't bring that up. You were missing, <laughs> and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. A pawnbroker. I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade. I exchange. Some people sell. Some others buy. I like to help. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic. Even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember. And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. Ah, oh, okay, you can mesmerize them for more details. I just realized that. 
Uh, back. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes, but the good news is we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. What have we got? How much do I have? Now, which one of these did I need? It was open earlier, then. Okay, cool. Uh... The problem is, I don't remember which one of these I needed. I don't even know. I've got 15. Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to buy one of each. And not the opium. Obviously, I'm hoping that does the trick in a minute, because otherwise, I fucked up. I sort of want to see what this doctor's been up to. Where are you? Is this alright here? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Help, help me. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Hogan? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying. That they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. 
as a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. First things first, let's create that fatigue cure. Sodium. So I need to go see that doctor. Thankfully, I haven't. Was it sodium? I hate trying to remember things like this. It is. Sodium. Hi. Oh, I'm never going to pronounce it. Sodium. Just remember it's sodium. <laughs> Let's see. Where's that guy again? Probably get a bed in a minute. Is it's like two o'clock? Uh, no, it's f two past three in the morning here. This guy. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. I don't really care. I don't think I can afford anything like that. I just thought maybe you might have had the sodium I need. You do not. Now, are you the doctor? Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. 
eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. Why is everyone sure standing like they're drunk? Something I've just noticed that they all sort of seem to, you know, wobble a bit sometimes. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong, Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Okay, so... Now where's that other guy? He has... I think he still has sodium. I just need to find it first. I think he was here a minute ago and I can't find the guy. spoke to you. Crap, I lost the one guy I actually need.
can't tell if that's a reflection of the face or if it's just the clothes. So if it's the face, it should technically be there, as he is a vampire. I don't know where the guy is. I don't remember his name. He was watching bodies, that's as much as I remember. I thought it was over here somewhere, but he's clearly not. Oh, one sec. I'm just going to sit up a bit because I'm just, ah, laying on my side. I can feel my shoulder sort of getting a bit painful like that. Okay, so where was the guy I'm looking for? <sighs> Excuse me. Kill the guy. stuff. Come, oh, no, come on. Yep. Is there a way to zoom in? Yes, there is. Now then, where's... Merchant, it's just whether it's the merchant I'm looking for. I'm hoping it's the merchant I'm looking for. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. This is a poor. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. Sodium, sodium, it's just trinkets sodium. and curios, really. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure they can be useful. That. That's what I need. I'm basically broke now, but that's fine. Uh, back. How do I check missions? That's main mission.
I'm going to do is craft the item and then I'm probably going to end the stream. Oh, okay, so that's what that is. That's what, um... You know what? I'll quickly do that then. I want to see what that was all about. So I have to follow the face. Or the head. the uh, thing. Let's 
such an awkward... Oh, come on. Right, well, first off, I need to turn around. Because clearly I'm going the wrong way. This is taking a while to load back in, so I probably will just end the stream now and I'll continue this tomorrow at some point. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more vampire. Until then guys, bye for now. <laughs>